coming to independent lands. Women taking part in some operations in Iraq are often referred to as belonging to Team Lioness. Women are technically forbidden from participating in combat. But these women in Ramadi would become the first to engage in offensive ground combat operations in this country's history. When I came back from Iraq, it was so emotional for me. When I joined the Army, I enlisted as a track vehicle mechanic. So, to be honest with you, I was really not expecting to ever have to fire my weapon. I found out my daughter was going through house to house searches in the middle of the night. And that scared me because uh, she hears explosions and she throws herself down on the floor like she used to do in Iraq every time they were attacked. It needed females to go out with them on the missions to help calm the women and children. We got ambushed really bad. We ended up uh, getting RPGs thrown at us. And I was just like shaking. I was so scared. I felt we needed to know more. We assumed that there they had uh, training and, and doing searches and detaining handling. America needs to know what's going on over there. This is a new thing for people to realize that their daughters are over there doing the exact same thing that males are doing now. If we were to obey the policy, we'd probably have to pull most of the women serving in Iraq and Afghanistan out of Iraq and Afghanistan, and our ability to wage those wars would fall apart. 